Yeah, I'm well pleased. It is sunny. How do I look? Gorgeous. So we've arrived in Indonesia. Now, one of the things I love to do when I arrive in any Southeast Asian country is get out and test the barbers. So I'm gonna go out and get the old hair cut up. I know I haven't got a lot, but uh, we're gonna get it looking smart and dandy. The Asian barbers to me, like the traditional old barbers, they're so good. Let the hair grow a little long, and I haven't got much, but uh, we've been here about two days. I'm gonna go out, find a barber, and get a haircut, and I'll take you along for the ride. So you share these little pathways with any traffic. Luckily, it's not quite wide enough, I don't think, for a car, but you never do know. But there'll be plenty of bikes, because every little house has at least 20 bikes. Hello. So there's a little high street just up the road here from where we're staying in the guest house. It's got lots of barbers, so I'll probably just pick one at random and then we'll see if we can film inside the barbers while I'm getting a cut. So this is the, the high street I was saying about. We've got this blue statue in the center. This is the Baruna Bali. And we're gonna head down this way and pick up a, a barber's store. Now I'm not entirely sure the name of this road, but I'll put it up on the screen, I'll check it out. But it's also a fantastic uh, road for food, for local food. The road that goes off um, to the right back there, that's much more touristic. But this road, we have the Warung. Warung are the local eateries. And this is where I found we get the really, really good authentic food. There's a petrol station. You can get the, uh, the different types of fuel. Not as many barbers as I remembered, but I'm certain there are several of them on this road, probably a little bit further up. Just here, this is Pepito's Cafe. Now we've actually ordered stuff delivered from there for very reasonable, really delicious fruit salads. And they deliver them straight to your hotel and it's not expensive, like about two or three dollars. Lovely, highly recommend Pepito's. Now there's a laundry. I think we might be getting close to a, a bank of, oh, hang on, this barber's shop, was it? The guy's English is not. This is, um, how are we gonna say this? I'm gonna go, it's lovely and cool in here, so I'm gonna get a, we can use Google to translate. So the fella's, the fella's going seriously short. So what's your name? Your name? This is How again? Your name? Ongi. Ongi. My name is Ongi, uh, I come from Banyuangi. So, yeah, he's, he's going pretty short, but uh, I told him he can do what he wants, so I have to trust him. So Michelle's just saying it's looking similar to the cut I had in Philadelphia, which um, the guy did a, a really nice cut in Philadelphia, actually. So that's cool. All the people on the street are just getting upon the meat With the scaffolding of bone and sinew It's a beautiful machine and proteins and carbohydrates locked within you. So when you want to talk to the girl down the block, you're scared of feeling like a stalker. Just remember that you both underneath your fancy clothes are only just bags of water. You were only just a bag of water. Just a little bit up from um, Pepito's. Guy's really nice. His English isn't great, but you know, you go in and trust them to give you a cut. It's all good. And um, shame to put the hat on, but it is really sunny and hot today. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Michelle's just pointing out, it's right next to this huge great big mark, which is a, a big focal point. You can pick that out if you're in Bali uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm well pleased. It is sunny. How do I look? Gorgeous. You can't 
can't make a, a silk purse out of a sow's ear, but I think it looks pretty damn good. So this is Pepito's. And this is quite a big place, actually. I thought it was just gonna be like a very small bakery. Because we've ordered, we've never actually been in here before, but it's huge, huh? Supermarket. It's a supermarket. It's huge. Wow, look at this place. No wonder they do such good fruit salads. Look at all the fruit. Look at all this beautiful fruit. So, I don't know why I thought it was just a small bakery, but it's actually a, a whole supermarket full of all sorts of great stuff. Should we, should we have a little look round? Yeah, come on, let's have a little look round. This is my first, so we've got a haircut. I'm gonna have a first look round an Indonesian or a Balinese supermarket. <laughs> it could almost be in Australia. Now look at these. Now this, this could almost, almost be in Australia or anywhere in the world, but, but look at the size. Tiny, tiny. Because this sort of cereal is not the sort of thing Indonesians eat. So it's for uh, a foreign market. So you're paying about Two dollars, twenty-four thousand and a half uh, rupees. So that's about two dollars forty for a very small uh, box of Kellogg's Frosties. So everything here is pretty small scale. The wheat bix they're pretty normal, but they are eleven dollars fifty. That little area there is really geared up for foreign shopping. Now, I always say if you come to these countries and you just want to eat the food from back home, you're going to pay a lot of money for it. But if you're willing to eat local food with local produce, even their cereals, locally made cereals, are a fraction, a tiny fraction of the price. But you have to shop around. And if you only shop in those aisles, you are going to find it expensive. Actually, quite a lot of the produce in this supermarket is aimed at uh, a foreign market. Even your, your little cartons of milk are about two up to three dollars a carton because this is, again, it's not the milk that the locals would buy or use. I mean, it is now. Lots of lots of local are use. Lots of locals are using this sort of produce, but um, it's more geared up. You understand what I'm saying? Actually, the more I'm looking at this place, the more I'm seeing that it's mainly geared at a foreign market. Even the meat counter is very much done on a Western-style meat counter. Now, if you pop down to the local market, which is not far from here, everything's outdoors, it's undercover, it's a fraction of the price. But a lot of Westerners don't like shopping in places where the meat is out in the open sort of, you know, elements and things. But you do get much better value, a really much better value. But, you know, it's horses to horses. So it's cold brew, red velvet, Swiss hazelnut, 86 degrees, French vanilla, Belgian mocha latte, and a 95 degrees, whatever that means. But they're like almost little, little whiskey bottles. So cold brew is, uh, is popular. Again, definitely not aimed at a local market. I mean, they're technically, as, an, as a foreigner, you might think that's not too bad, but just over the road here, you can get fresh fruit, really delicious fresh fruit uh, smoothie for about 10,000, which is a dollar. Um, and probably by local standards, even that's expensive. So Pepito's, this is the supermarket. This is Baker's Corner. This is where we've been ordering our food from. I say we've been ordering our food. We have ordered food from here. And you can see that it's a little cafe off the side of the supermarket, fresh bread, so sourdough, so they're doing sourdoughs. Uh, Four dollars eighty for great big sourdough. Beautiful looking, huh, Michelle? Bread looks very good. The donuts are about seventy cents. There's a matcha, matcha tea donuts, um, taro donuts, chocolate glaze. There's a mango. Gosh, I think I might have one of those, Michelle. Doing a promotion, see? Four pieces for twenty-six. Okay. Oh, look, a little Oreo. <laughs> a little glazed Oreo donut. Avocado. Wow. That's why I like this place. And I've only just discovered it. 
Green tea, chocolate eclairs. Loads of different taro eclairs, um, cheesecakes. Apple pie. How cool is that? At $15. Now I've got to be respectful because there are people in here and uh, somebody's doing a, a photo shoot, I think. Yeah, there's some uh, photo and camera gear just here. So there's people in here, I've got to be respectful. I'm going to turn the camera off. You get the gist, it's Pepito's, and this is the uh, Baker's Corner. Guess what we've gone for? I've gone for the mango glaze, and Michelle's gone for the Oreo coated donut. We could go for four and get a special offer, but this is a bit of a treat. Yeah, I get the mango. That's nice. That mango cream is really good. Oh, I'd have to learn how to get that mango. It must be a mango flavoring. It's so delicious. I'm getting sprinkles all down the front of me. Mmm, quite dark. Oh, chocolatey. It's Oreo. Mm. It's almost got that... Um, Dutch processed mm. cocoa, the dark cocoa, which I always like. It's got a real mango, it takes a little while. Mmm, it does. Mm. She agrees, I like the mango. Ah, I like them both. Local food, not the Western food. Yeah, beautiful. Right. So, I come in here to order chicken because they told me this is like the local Kentucky fried chicken That's okay. Yeah. okay yeah 38 I gotta pay gotta pay thank you took so much thank you so we came in here for the equivalent of a Kentucky fried chicken it's hard to um, the girls don't speak any English which is which is all cool but um, I don't know what we've ordered. We've ordered something. We were starting to cause a bit of a queue, so I just said, oh, we'll have that one. Wish me luck. The whole meal came to 38,000, which is about $3.80, so it's no big deal. But I was trying to see, they've got the iced tea here. I'm not a big fan of iced tea, but um, I was seeing what other drinks have. Apparently it's only iced tea, so we've got iced tea anyway. It's gonna be fun. So we've got, Chicken, how do you say? Chicken breast. Chicken breast? Yeah. In uh, Indonesian? Ba in Bali? Dada. 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 And French fries, yeah? Dada. Gundang. 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 Dada and Gundang. Dada and Gundang. And tea. <laughs> Soup suma. So we got uh, iced tea anyway. Sweet iced tea. Let's get in and give it a try. Like a disco in here. Mm. That's good. Thank you. Mm. That's really good. Yep. It's all just breast, but really succulent breast, not too dry. Could have paid about 10 cents less and uh, got wings. I'm a breast man myself. Okay, well done. Not a big fan of that sweet tea, but the people love them. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so best fried chicken or so bets fried chicken. That was good actually. Good day out. Haircut. Set off at sort of midday, coming back at sundown. There's always lots to do in Bali. Anyway, share the love. And we will see you in a video very shortly. Take care. I wanted to show you around this beautiful little guest house that we found. It's ever so reasonable. I think we're paying around about maybe 